Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 21 in chapter 10. Chapter 10 is about rotational motion. In this one, you can see we have in this system, we have two large circles, right? One is rubber, one is pottery. And they just touch at the end for each circle. Now, we know the radius for the rubber, the radius for the pottery, and the circular acceleration for the rubber, and then we need to know the circular acceleration for this pottery circle. How can you solve the problem? First thing we look at there. As we know these two circles just touch at the edge, that means at the edge, the tangent acceleration is same. Do you agree? Why? Because you can see at a certain time, they move for the different distance. Of the, at a the certain time, they move for the same distance. Do you agree? For this one, is this less? For this one, is this less? And for the same distance, at a certain time, the linear velocity is same, and also the tangent acceleration is same. So in this one, we can know a1 equal to a2, right? And how can we connect the linear acceleration with the circular acceleration times the radius? So we know a1 equal to alpha 1 times r1, same thing for a2. And then in this one, we input is a1, a2 in this equation. And then we get this one and so we get the alpha 2. Uh, the second question asks you the time taking for this uh, pottery uh, circle to reach its required speed, 65 revolution per minute. So that means at its initial, it's stationary. So initial circular acceleration is zero. The final circular acceleration give us is a 65 revolution per minute. So we need to convert convert the unit to radius per second. And there we use the final acceleration velocity minus initial acceleration velocity divided by the circular acceleration gets the time taken t. Uh, that's all. Thank you.